Welcome back, everybody. It's time for today's comedian. Please welcome to the show, Jim Colleton. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. How about the band, huh? How are we all doing? Good. Very nice to be here. I am a married man, uh, 17 years. And it's, uh, yeah, no, she's not here. You don't need to clap. That's fine. She is home folding laundry. I just talked to her. Uh, it's still good. It's just different. When I first got married, my wife used to say things like this to me. I love when you lie right next to me and we're sleeping and I can feel your heart beat. That was like 16 and a half years ago. The other night she turned, she goes, can you roll over? You're breathing right on top of me. It's gross, it's going on my neck, roll over. How are you gonna feel my heartbeat if I roll over? I could kill us, just roll over. I could pass away in the night, you wouldn't even know about it. I'll live with myself, roll over. Actually, go brush your teeth and roll over. I was driving in the car on Valentine's Day. People were calling into the radio program and they were saying the special things that their spouses do to keep their marriage going. One lady from down south, she called in. She goes, well, some nights on cold nights, my husband will put my pajamas in the dryer and then warm them up for me. Yeah, I threw up in my mouth. I couldn't even comprehend that in my married man's brain. My wife has ever walked in the fam room on a cold night. Can you warm my pajamas up? What did you say to me? Can you warm my pajamas up? You want me to pee on you? It's a Thursday. Why we get involved in something like that? My wife doesn't get mad at me. She has a little saying she likes to use. Her new saying is, did you mean to do that? Did you mean to put the clothes in the dryer and then not turn it on? Yes, I did mean to do that. I like to let the clothes sit in there for a couple days, get them good and moldy, then let the kids wear them to school. That way no one's gonna wanna hang out with the kids. They won't bring other kids home, eat all our food after school. So yes, I did mean to do that. You know what I've been noticing a lot lately? Soulmates. You notice everyone's looking for their soulmates? I usually find people find their soulmates when they're married to someone else. <laughs> no, that's not your soulmate. That's just a new mate you're playing with now. <laughs> I've been married 17 years. I've realized my soul, not that important anymore. <laughs> you can golf a lot more without a soul. I never liked that saying. It makes it sound like your marriage is gonna be this magical thing where nothing can go wrong if you marry your soul, mate. Be like, honey, did you take both sets of car keys to work today? <laughs> How could I be mad at you? <laughs> You're my soul, mate. Nah, that's fine, I can walk to the airport today, that's fine. I love you too. You hang up first. <laughs> I, uh, I, do, I, I do enjoy being married because my wife explains things to me. I think you need someone in your life that's gonna explain things. The last thing she helped me with was Facebook. I wasn't on Facebook, and if you're not on Facebook, you know what I'm talking about. People get mad when they find out you were not involved in Facebook. You are not on Facebook? Oh, you need to get on Facebook. You're like, all right, settle down, Grandma. I just walked in, all right? So I got on Facebook, and I've been on for a couple months, and I go to my wife, I go, I don't get it, I don't understand it. She goes, oh, you know why you don't get Facebook? You don't care about other people. And she's exactly right. <laughs> now, I don't wish ill will on anyone, I just could care less what they're doing in their day-to-day -day life. You know how they have that like button? I think they should have a care less button right next to it. <laughs> Here's a picture of my new dog. Careless girl I went to high school with. We never talked then. Why we talk 25 years later? I just lost nine pounds. Careless, 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 careless. I think my favorite people, though, are the people who get on and post, I am so busy today. I don't know how I'm going to get everything done. I'm not a life coach by any means, but I'm guessing if you get off the computer, stuff's going to start happening for you. I'm gonna start checking that list right off. First day I was on Facebook, I tried to get into it. I, uh, I loaded on, they have the front page, and a buddy of mine posted, just had scrambled eggs for breakfast. Unreal, period, end of post. I had to call my wife and go, is scrambled eggs a new code for something? Some kind of sex or drug I don't know about? Should we be doing the scrambled egg at some point? She was like, no, I think he's just letting you know he had scrambled eggs for breakfast. I was like, wow, those must have been some good scrambled eggs. If you get up from the breakfast table, go, I need to let the world know how good these scrambled eggs are. Now, does he think we're all just waiting at home? Can't wait to see what he has for lunch. 
turkey, tuna, ham, leftovers? We don't know. We don't know. Just keep hitting refresh till we find out. You guys have been a lot of fun. Thanks a lot for having me. Thank you very much. Jim Colleton will be right back. Right after this. <laughs>